4. Maintenance 1. Routing Maintenance Before maintenance of the rotary drilling rig, please strictly comply with the safety notices for maintenance of drilling rig as specified in the section Safety and Protection of the Operating Instructions. In the course of construction, please always carry out the following routing maintenance for drilling rig. 1. Before carrying out work every day, please add the number 2 lithium-based lubricating grease to the drilling pipe elevator. Connection with by rope. 2. Before carrying out work every day, please add the number 2 lithium-based lubricating grease to the bearing of drilling pipe follower. Upper bracket of drilling pipe. 3. Inspect whether the wire rope is in good condition from time to time. 4. Inspect the oil pipe and sealing ring for damage from time to time and prepare the spare parts. 5. Inspect whether the drilling pipe elevator bearing can rotate smoothly. If it is damaged, please replace it immediately. 6. Inspect whether any bolt or pin shaft is loosened, worn or broken from time to time. If any bolt or pin shaft is found damaged, please replace it immediately. 2. Procedures and Notices for Maintenance 1. Maintenance of Engine Note: As for the maintenance of engine, please refer to the section Maintenance of the CAT Service Manual. Engine Cooling System 1. Replacement of Coolant 1. Unlock and lift up the engine hood 2. Slowly loosen the pressure cover on radiator so as to release the pressure in cooling system 3. Remove the pressure cover 4. Remove the inspection cover under the radiator 5. Open the drain valve on the bottom of radiator and drain the coolant into an appropriate container. 6. Clean up the cooling system in accordance with the steps A to H so as to correctly flush the cooling system. A. Close the drain valve. B. Fill fresh water into the cooling system. C. Install the pressure cover. D. Start up the engine and make it run until the operating temperature is reached. E. Switch off the engine and wait until the engine cools down. F. Slowly screw off the pressure cover so as to release the pressure in cooling system. G. Open the drain valve on the bottom of radiator and drain the coolant into an appropriate container. H. Use fresh water to flush the radiator until the water drain is clean. 7. Close the drain valve and install the inspection cover under the radiator. 8. Add the coolant. 9. Start up the engine and run the engine under the circumstance that the pressure cover of cooling system is removed until the water temperature regulator is turned on and the level of coolant is stabilized. 10. Maintain the level of fluid in cooling system within 13 mm from the bottom of filling tube. 11. Inspect the gasket on pressure cover of cooling system. If the gasket is damaged, please replace the pressure cover. 12. Install the pressure cover of cooling system and open the left inspection door. 13. Inspect the cooling water tank. 2. Inspection on coolant level. 1. Open the rear inspection door on the left side of the machine. 2. Inspect the level of cooling water in water tank and maintain the level of coolant between the mark full and the mark low. If the cooling water tank is empty, please implement the steps A to H. A. Lift up the engine hood. B. Slowly screw off the cooling system pressure cover so as to release the pressure. C. Remove the pressure cover and add the appropriate coolant into the cooling system. D. Start up the engine and run the engine under the circumstance that the pressure cover of cooling system is removed until the water temperature regulator is turned on and level of coolant is stabilized. E. 
Maintain the level of fluid in cooling system within 13 mm from the bottom of filling tube. F. Inspect the gasket on pressure cover of cooling system. If the gasket is damaged, please replace the pressure cover. G. Install the pressure cover of cooling system. H. Switch off the engine and close and lock up the engine hood. 3. Cleaning or replacement of raw filter element in air filter. If any warning is displayed on the information screen or black smoke is emitted from the exhaust pipe, please inspect the raw filter element. 1. Open the rear inspection door on the left side of the machine. 2. Gently squeeze the outlet pipe so as to clear away the dust from outlet pipe. 3. Loosen the four fasteners of air filter cover and remove the air filter cover. 4. Take out the raw filter element from the air filter. 5. Clean up the cover and inside of the air filter. 6. Inspect the O-ring of the air filter cover. If the O-ring is worn or damaged, please replace it. Note. Be sure not to clean up the filter element by knocking or gliding with it. And be sure not to use any filter element of which the corrugated part, gasket, or sealing ring is damaged. Otherwise, the engine may get damaged. Before mounting the filter element into the filter housing, make sure that the clean filter element has been fully dried. 7. Clean up the raw filter element. Inspect the raw filter element. The raw filter element may be cleaned up with low pressure compressed air. 8. Blow the compressed air along the inside and outside of corrugated part of raw filter element. Don't get the corrugated part contact with the air nozzle. 9. After clean up the raw filter element, inspect it carefully. Don't use any raw filter element of which the corrugated part, gasket, or sealing ring is damaged. 10. Properly wrap the clean raw filter element and store it in a clean and dry place. Install the clean raw filter. 11. Install the air filter cover and lock it up firmly. Note. Please correctly install the air filter cover with the arrow facing upwards. If any of the following circumstances occurs, please replace the filter. A. The air filter blockage indicator on monitoring panel is still lightened. B. After the raw filter is installed, the black smoke is still emitted from exhaust pipe. C. If the raw filter has been used for a year, please replace it. 4. Replacement of fine filter element in air filter. Note. Please replace the fine filter element in time. The block the fine filter element may not be reused and must be replaced with a new one. When replacing raw filter element, be sure to also replace the fine filter element. If the warning on blockage of air filter still appears on the screen of information display or black smoke is still limited after the raw filter element is cleaned and reinstalled, please replace the fine filter element. 1. Open the front inspection door on left side of the machine. 2. Remove the fine filter element. 3. Cover up the air inlet and clean up the air filter housing. 4. Remove the cover from the air inlet. 5. Install then new fine filter element. 6. Install the raw filter element. Engine lubricating system. A. Inspection on engine oil level. Be sure not to inspect the level of engine oil when the engine is running. 1. Lift up the engine hook. Take out the dipstick. Wipe away the oil on dipstick. And insert the dipstick again. 2. Take out and inspect the dipstick. The oil level should be maintained between the mark full and the mark add on dipstick. 2. If necessary, remove the lubricating oil filling plug 
and add the lubricating oil. 3. Clean up the lubricating oil filling plug and install the lubricating oil filling plug. Close the engine hood. Note, when adding oil, don't get the oil level exceed the mark full on dipstick. If the oil level is higher than the mark full on dipstick, the temperature of engine oil will become excessively high. If the lubricating oil is deteriorated or seriously contaminated, please replace the lubricating oil no matter what the maintenance period is. B. Replacement of engine oil and engine oil filter. Note, as long as the operating conditions and the oil type meet the requirements, the replacement period for engine oil may be 500 hours. If the requirements mentioned above are not satisfied, please shorten the oil replacement period to 250 hours or use the oil sampling and analysis procedures to determine the acceptable oil replacement period. The recommended types of multi-stage oil are listed in the table below. Be sure not to use any single-stage oil. 1. The normal oil replacement period for engine is 250 service hours. If the operating conditions and the oil type meet those as specified in the table below, then the standard oil replacement period for the machine is 500 hours. 2. The normal conditions include the following elements. The sulfur content of fill is lower than 0.3%, the elevation is lower than 1,830 million, and the air filter and fuel filter are well maintained. 3. The high load coefficient will shorten the service life of engine oil. The continuous high load operation and very few idling time will increase the fuel consumption and oil contamination. These factors may quickly consume the oil additive. If the average fuel consumption of your CAT3360 machine exceeds 37.8 liter per hour, please follow the advices for high load coefficient as given in the table below. For the purpose of determining the average fuel consumption, Please measure the average fuel consumption by taking 50 to 100 hours as the measurement period. If the use condition of the machine changes, the average fuel consumption will also change. 4. If the sulfur content exceeds 0.5%, please consult with the customer service department of Yu Tong Heavy Industry. 5. In order to verify the 500 hour oil replacement period, Please refer to the procedure A described below. 6. Determine the appropriate period in accordance with the following procedure B. 2. Adjustment of oil replacement period. 1. Procedure A. Verification of 500 hour oil replacement period. This procedure covers three 500-hour oil replacement periods. Please sample the oil at 250 hours and 500 hours in every of three oil replacement periods respectively, so as to obtain a total of six oil samples. The analysis includes the oil viscosity analysis and infrared ray analysis. If all results are satisfied, the 500-hour oil replacement period is acceptable for the machine. If the sample fails to pass the oil analysis, please take the following measures and shorten the oil replacement period to 250 hours or implement the procedure B. 2. Procedure B Optimize the oil replacement period. From the 250 hour oil replacement period, adjust the oil replacement period by using the gradual increase method. Prolong the period by 50 hours every time. In every period, please sample and analyze the oil on a regular basis. The oil sample analysis includes the oil viscosity analysis and infrared ray analysis. If the application of the machine is changed, please repeat the procedure B. If the oil sample fails to pass the oil analysis, please shorten the oil replacement period. 3. Steps for replacement of engine oil and filter. Note, if the sulfur content of fuel exceeds 1.5%, please use the engine oil of which the total alkali content is 30 
and half the oil replacement period. In addition, draining the engine oil in crankcase when the temperature of engine oil is relatively high can drain away the waste particles suspending in the engine oil. When the engine oil cools down, the waste particles will deposit to the bottom of crankcase. In addition, attention should be paid to safety. 1. The engine oil drain valve of engine crankcase is located on rear lower portion of upper structure. 2. Open the crankcase drain valve, drain the engine oil into an appropriate container. Close the drain valve. 3. Open the inspection door on the right side of the machine. 4. Use a spanner to remove the engine oil filter. 5. Clean up the filter seat. Make sure that the old filter gasket is fully removed. 6. Apply a thin layer of engine oil onto the new filter gasket. 7. Install and installation new filter when the gasket contacts with the filter seat. And then turn the filter for another 3 fourth round. Every new engine oil filter has rotation indicating marks and the distance of every two marks is one fourth round. The indicating marks will help you to tighten up the engine oil filter. 8. Close the inspection door and lift up the engine hood. 9. Remove the lubricating oil filling plug. Fill the new oil into the crankcase. 10. Start up the engine and get the lubricating oil heated up. Inspect the engine for oil leakage. 11. Switch off the engine and wait for 30 minutes until the lubricating oil returns to the grain case. Use the dipstick to inspect the level of lubricating oil. Maintain the oil level between the mark full and the mark add on dipstick. If necessary, add the lubricating oil, close and lock up the engine hood. Otherwise, add the oil or drain the oil. Table 1 Engine Fuel System 1. Drainage of Water and Oil Water Separator 1. Open the front inspection door on the left side of the machine. 2. Prepare an appropriate container for the used oil. 3. Inspect the cup 2 on the bottom of oil water separator and open the drain valve. 1. Drain the water and precipitate into the cup. 4. Close the drain valve. 2. Replacement of oil water separator core. Warning! Fire may occur if the fuel leaks or is splashed onto any hot surface or electrical part. No smoking is permitted in the course of handling a fuel system. When replacing the fuel filter, please turn the cutoff switch to the position off or disconnected the battery. Before installing the fuel filter, be sure not to fill fuel in it. The contaminated fuel will leach the accelerated wear of parts of fuel system. 1. Open the inspection door on the left side of the machine. 2. Clockwise turn the drain valve so as to open it. Drain the water and precipitate into an appropriate container. 3. Close the drain valve. 4. Remove the filter from the filter seat. 5. Remove the filter 3 from the cup. 2. Discard the old filter. 6. Clean up the inner surface of filter seat 4 and cup 2. 7. Remove the cover from the bottom of new filter. 3. Remove the seal from the cover. 1. Drain valve. 2. Cup. 3. Filter. 4. Filter seat. 8. Mouse the seal into the groove on cup. 2. 9. Mount the cup. 2. Onto the new filter. And tighten it up. 10. Mount the filter. 3. Onto the filter's seat. And then tighten it up. 
Note: Before the fuel system is fully maintained, don't start up the engine. Three, cleaning of fuel tank cover and strainer. One, remove the fuel tank cover. Two, inspect whether the sealing ring is damaged. If necessary, please replace or replacement sealing ring. Three, remove the screw, fuel assembly, drain valve, and gasket. Four, remove the strainer from the filling port filter. Five. Use the clean, non-combustible solution to clean up the strainer and fuel tank cover. Six, install the full set of accessories of new filter cover, and then mount the gasket, drain valve, filter assembly, and screw. Seven, mount the strainer into the filling port of the filter. Eight, install the fuel tank cover. Four. Drainage of water and precipitates in oil tank. The drain valve of a fuel tank is located on the bottom of fuel tank. One, any clockwise turn the drain valve so as to open it, drain the water and precipitates into an appropriate container. Three, clockwise turn the drain valve so as to close it. Two, maintenance of electrical system. Replacement fuse. Open the cover plate of chassis fuse box located on inner trim behind seating cap. If the fuse blows out, please immediately replace it with a new one of the same model. If the new fuse also blows out, please immediately inspect the electric circuit for trouble. When replacing the fuse, use the fuse puller to pull out the fuse from the fuse panel. On the fuse panel, there are three 5A. 410A, 215A, 225A, and 130A standby fuses. As for the usage of every fuse, please refer to Section 4, Maintenance of Electrical System of the Service Manual. Long-term storage and storage in winter. One, if the machine is out of service for a long time, please inspect the voltage of battery on a regular basis every month. If the battery voltage is equal or lower than 22 volts, please dismantle the battery and charge it up. Two, inspect the plug type harness joints and controller joints, and inspect whether the seal is in good conditions and where water or oil enters into the seal on a regular basis. If water or oil enters, please carry out cleaning in time and identify the cause. Three. As for storage in winter when the ambient temperature is too low, please refer to the storage temperature range specified in the operating instructions for every component. Please remove the electrical parts and store the machine in a warm place. Three, maintenance of hydraulic system. Inspection on oil level in hydraulic system. Note, if the hydraulic oil is relatively hot, be sure not to remove the filling plug. Or air release plug on hydraulic oil tank. The air may enter into the hydraulic system, and thus the oil pump may get damaged. One, park the machine on a flat ground. Two, open the inspection door on the right side of the machine. Three, as for the cold state machine, the level of hydraulic oil should be maintained in the range for low temperature. As for the machine at normal operating temperature, the level of hydraulic oil should be maintained in a range for high temperature. Four, close the inspection door. Note: If the oil level is too low, please implement the step five to seven. Five, slowly screw off the filling plug or air release plug so as to release the pressure, if necessary, at the hydraulic oil. Six. Inspect the O-ring of filling plug or air release plug. If the O-ring is damaged, please replace it. Seven. Clean up and install the filling plug or air release plug. Cleaning of hydraulic oil tank strainer. One. Unlock and lift up the engine hood. Two. Remove the bolt, 
gasket and oil cover on the top of hydraulic oil tank. 3. Thoroughly clean up this area so as to prevent the intrusion of any dirt into strainer cover, filling plug or air release the plug. 4. Screw out the filling plug or air release plug so as to release the pressure in hydraulic oil tank. After the pressure is released, remove the filling plug or air release the plug. 5. Remove the bolt, gasket, and a cover, spring, and strainer. Note, don't get the spring drop into the oil tank. 6. Clean up the strainer in the clean, non-combustible solution. If the strainer is damaged, please replace it. 7. Remove the O-rings from the strainer and inspect two O-rings. If any O-ring is obviously damaged, please replace it with a new O-ring of the same model. 8. Install the strainer and spring and then install installation cover, gasket and bolt. Note, in the course of installation, make sure that the O-ring and spring are placed correctly. Replacement of hydraulic oil filter 1. Replacement of hydraulic oil filter, drainage of oil in oil tank 1. Park the machine on a flat ground and pull the hydraulic control lever to the position unlocks. 2. Turn the engine start switch to the position on. 3. Push the control lever, traveling control lever and pedal to the full stroke position so as to release the pressure in pilot pipeline. 4. Turn the engine start switch to the position off and pull the hydraulic control lever to the position locked. 5. Slowly screw off the filling plug or air release the plug on the top of hydraulic oil tank so as to release the pressure in hydraulic oil tank. 6. After the pressure is released, tighten up the filling plug or air release the plug. 7. Open the inspection door on the right side of the machine. 8. Clean up this area so as to prevent the extrusion of any dirt into the filter seat. 9. Remove the used oil drain filter from the filter seat. Note. This filter element is of cartridge type and may not be reused. 10. Clean up the filter seat. 11. Apply the clean hydraulic oil onto the ceiling ring of new oil drain filter. Mount the new oil drain filter onto the oil filter seat and manually tighten up the oil drain filter. 12. Start up the engine and slowly run the machine for 1 to 15 minutes. Repeat above operation for several times so as to realize the stable action of every oil cylinder. 13. Inspect the machine for oil leakage. 14. Switch off the engine. 15. As for the cold state machine, the level of hydraulic oil should be maintained in the range for low temperature. As for the machine at normal operating temperature, the level of hydraulic oil should be maintained in the range for high temperature. 16. Slowly screw off the filling plug, air release plug, so as to release the pressure. 17. Clean up the filling plug, air release plug, install the filling plug or air release plug. 18. Close the inspection door. 2. Replacement of oil filter of pilot system. 1. Park the machine on flat ground, pull the hydraulic control lever to the position unlocked, and turn the engine start switch to the position on. 2. Push the control lever and traveling control lever or paddle to the full stroke position, so as to release the pressure in pilot pipeline. Turn the engine start switch to the position off and pull the hydraulic control lever to the position locked. 3. Slowly screw off the filling plug or air release plug on the top of hydraulic oil tank so as to release the pressure in hydraulic oil tank. After the pressure is released, 
tighten up the filling plug or air release plug. 4. Open the inspection door on right side of the machine. Clean up this area so as to prevent the intrusion of any dirt into IO filter seat. Remove the used pilot filter from the filter seat. 5. Clean up the IO filter seat. 6. Apply the clean hydraulic oil onto the ceiling ring of pilot IO filter. Mount the new pilot IO filter onto the IO filter seat and tighten it up. 3. Replacement of IO return filter. Note. If the warning about blockage of hydraulic oil return filter is displayed on the information screen, please stop the machine. 1. Screw off the filling plug so as to release the pressure. After the pressure is released, tighten up the filling plug. 2. Remove the oil filter housing. 3. Remove the oil filter element. 4. Clean up the oil filter cartridge. 5. Install the oil filter element. 6. Install the oil filter cartridge. The steps are as follows. A. Inspect whether the port on bottom of oil filter cartridge is closed. B. Inspect whether the port on oil filter cartridge is fully closed. Note, if the port is open, please anti-clockwise turn the sliding plate to the baffle so as to get such port fully closed. When the port is fully closed, please fully clear away the oil residue in oil filter cartridge. Unless the port is fully closed, the oil filter cartridge can't be installed. If the port is open, please anti-clockwise turn the sliding plate to the baffle so as to get such port fully closed. C. Inspect whether the O-ring is installed and whether the lubricating oil has been applied onto the O-ring. D. Mount the oil filter cartridge in to the filter housing. After the oil filter cartridge contacts with the guide plate, turn the oil filter cartridge clockwise by 180 degrees and press down the oil filter cartridge. E. Install the plug, cover, gasket, and bolt. Tighten up the bolt with a torque of 29 plus minus 5 Nm. Replacement of hydraulic oil. Note. You are kindly reminded to refer to the designation and oil replacement period for hydraulic oil as specified in the section maintenance of the CAT service manual. Recommended replacement period of hydraulic oil. Upon delivery, the drilling rig uses the Nudo 46 abrasion resistant hydraulic oil. Replace the oil after 500 service hours for the first time, and then replace the oil once every 1,500 service hours. Filtrate the hydraulic oil for the first time after 125 service hours, and then filtrate the hydraulic oil once every 250 hours. If the imported high quality hydraulic oil is used, the oil replacement period may be prolonged appropriately. 1. Replacement of hydraulic oil in hydraulic system. 4,000 hour oil replacement period. The 4,000 hour maintenance period, replacement period for hydraulic oil is acceptable. If the period is to be prolonged, it is necessary to monitor the hydraulic oil. The monitoring period is every 500 hours. The maintenance period for hydraulic oil filter remains unchanged. If no monitoring is implemented, then the maintenance period should be 2,000 hours. Note, the oil temperature in case of leakage, system leakage, is higher than that in circuit. The temperature of oil at any point in the oil circuit may not exceed 90 degrees. It is prohibited to mix and use hydraulic oil of different brands and models. 2. Steps for replacement of hydraulic oil 1. Park the machine on a flat ground and then release the pressure. 2. Remove the bolt, gasket, and cover on the top of hydraulic oil tank. 
thoroughly clean up this area and prevent the intrusion of any dirt into strainer cover, filling plug or air release plug. 3. Screw off the filling plug or air release plug so as to release the pressure in hydraulic oil tank. After the pressure is released, remove the filling plug or air release plug. 4. Remove the inspection cover for hydraulic oil tank, which is located on lower portion of upper structure. Remove the plug and visually inspect the drain valve. 5. For the purpose of replacing the plug, please use the 3B7271 threaded pipe joint and hose. 6. Screw off the drain plug so as to drain the oil. Drain the oil into an appropriate container. After the oil is fully drained, tighten up the drain plug with a torque of 95 to 115 Nm. 7. Remove the threaded joint and holes. 8. Mount the cleaning plug. Tighten up the cleaning plug with a torque of 70 to 80 Nm. 9. Open the inspection door on the right side of the machine. 10. Clean up the oil pump hydraulic pipeline and hydraulic oil tank. 11. Remove the plug-on pipe and drain the hydraulic oil into the container. 12. Inspect the O-ring. If the O-ring is obviously worn or damaged, please immediately replace it. 13. Clean up the plug, mount the plug and O-ring into the drain hole. 14. Remove the bolt gasket and cover. Note, don't get the spring drop into the oil tank. 15. Remove the spring and strainer. 16. Remove the O-ring from the strainer. 17. Inspect the O-ring. If the O-ring is obviously worn or damaged, please immediately replace it with a new one. 18. Clean up the strainer in the clean, non-combustible solution. Dry up the strainer. Inspect the strainer. If the strainer is damaged, please immediately replace it with a new one. 19. Mount the O-ring onto the strainer. 20. Install the strainer and spring, and then mount the cover, gasket, and bolt. Note. In the course of installation, Make sure that the O-ring and spring are correctly placed. 21. Clean up the strainer in rubber hose of pump. The strainer is located in the right door. 22. Use the 24 mm spanner to dismantle the tank. 23. Remove the strainer and sealing member from the cylinder head. Clean up the inside of the cylinder head. 24. Apply a little of clean hydraulic oil onto the new sealing member. Mount the sealing member on cylinder head. When installing the sealing member onto the cylinder head, be sure not to get it damaged. 25. Install the tank on the cylinder head. Tighten up the tank with a torque of 25 to 35 Nm. 26. Fill the hydraulic oil into the hydraulic system oil tank. 27. Inspect the pressure cover. Clean up the pressure cover. If the pressure cover is obviously damaged, please replace the pressure cover. Note. Before the pump is full of hydraulic oil, don't try to start it up the engine. Otherwise, the hydraulic components may get seriously damaged. 28. After replacing hydraulic oil, be sure to bleed the air in hydraulic oil system. Bleed the air in hydraulic oil system in accordance with the following steps. Switch off the engine, remove the air release plug on top of pump, and wait for several minutes until the pump is full of hydraulic oil. After the pump is full of hydraulic oil, tighten up the air release plug. Slowly screw off the air release plug for several rounds until the hydraulic oil flows out from the air release plug port, and then tighten up the air release plug. 29. Start up the engine and make it run at idle speed for 5 minutes. 30. 
operate the control lever so as to circulate the hydraulic coil. Switch off the engine. 31. Maintain the oil level between two marks on observation window for appropriate temperature range. 32. Close the inspection door and close and lock up the engine hood. Cleaning of radiator core. 1. Lift up the engine hood and open the inspection door on the left side of the machine. 2. Inspect the radiating fin for scraps. 3. Clear away the dust and scraps from the radiating fin. Inspection on lubricating oil filter. 1. Inspect whether there is any scrap in the old filter. Use the 4C5084 filter cutter or 175-7546 oil filter cutter to cut the filter element. Unfold the corrugated part and inspect whether there is metal particle or other scrap in the filter element. If there is scrap of excessive amount in the filter element, it means the same components are in trouble. If metal is found in filter element, please use magnet to separate iron and non-ferrous metal. It is likely that the existence of non-ferrous metals is attributable to the wear of aluminum parts of engine. A little scrap is attributable to normal wear and friction. 2. Lubrication of rapid coupler. Before applying the lubricant, please clean up all the lubricating nipples. Apply the lubricant through the four lubricating nipples on rapid coupler. There are two lubricating nipples on every side of rapid coupler. Summary table of common troubles and troubleshooting. Four. Maintenance of air filter and air conditioner. Test of air conditioner. Warning. Inhalation of the refrigerant vapor or the smoke arising from combustion of combustant, which contains refrigerant vapor, may lead to personal injury or even death. No smoking is permitted in the course of repair of air conditioner. When adding or replacing the refrigerant, please use the refrigerant recommended by Caterpillar only. Otherwise, the system may get damaged. 1. Start up the engine and turn the engine speed knob to the position medium speed. 2. Open the inspection door on front portion of left side of the machine. 3. Observe the observation window on dryer of reservoir and record the amount of refrigerant. 1. If only a little of air bubble is found through the observation window, it means there is sufficient refrigerant. 2. If a lot of air bubble is found through the observation window, it means that there is insufficient refrigerant. 3. If a little of air bubble is found through the observation window, it means that there is almost no refrigerant. 4. If a lot of air bubble or a little of air bubble is found through the observation window, please consult with after sale service department of Yutong Heavy Industry. 5. If the air conditioner is turned on under the circumstance that the refrigerant is insufficient, the compressor may get damaged. 6. The air conditioner shall always be maintained in good conditions. Please run the air conditioner for several minutes every week, so as to run the compressor. In this way, the leakage of refrigerant may be prevented. The dried seal on the compressor may lead to leakage. 4. Close the inspection door. Inspection and replacement of filter of air conditioner or cap heater. Note, if the air circulation filter element is blocked up by dust, the performance of air conditioner or cap heater may be reduced and their service life may get shortened. The air circulation filter is located on lower portion of left side of cap. 1. Pull up the filter element directly 
so as to dismantle the filter element. 2. Before using the compressed air to clean up the air filter element, please consult with the Customer Service Department of Yutong Heavy Industry. 3. The pressure of the compressed air used to clean up the filter element may not exceed 200 kPa. 4. After cleaning up the filter element, please carry out the inspection. If the filter element is damaged or seriously contaminated, please replace it with a new one. Make sure that the filter element is dry. Cleaning and Replacement of Cab Air Filter Air Cleaner The air filter is located behind the cab. 1. Screw off the bolt and open the filter cover and air filter. 2. Remove the air filter from the filter cover. 3. Use the compressed air of which the pressure is up to 200 kPa to clean up the air filter. 4. After cleaning up the air filter, please carry out the inspection. If the air filter is damaged or seriously contaminated, please replace it with a new one. Install the air filter and filter cover. Note. Make sure that the arrow on the top of the air filter faces forwards. Inspection and replacement of seat belt. No matter in which condition the appearance of seat belt is, the seat belt should be replaced every three years. Test of indicators and instruments. 1. Inspect whether there is any broken covered glass, broken indicator, or damaged switch on the instrument and inspect whether there's any other damaged components in the cab. 2. Start up the engine. 3. Identify the instrument which does not work. 4. Turn on all lamps on the machine, and inspect whether all lamps work normally. 5. Move the machine forwards and then release the traveling control lever and traveling paddle. As a result, the machine would stop. 6. Switch off the engine. 7. Before operating the machine, complete the necessary repair. 5. Maintenance of slewing mechanism. Lubrication of slewing bearing. Before adding a lubricating oil to the slewing bearing, please wipe clean the lubricating nipple. The slewing bearing is located under the base frame of movable arm. Add the lubricating oil through the lubricating nipple until the lubricating oil overflows from the seal of bearing. Replacement of lubricating oil for slewing driving device. 1. Remove the inspection cover under the turnable driving device. 2. Remove the IO discharge hose from the fixture on upper frame and make the end of hose face the container. 3. Use the universal joint equipped with extension sleeve to screw off the drain valve in hole. Drain the oil into an appropriate container. 4. Tighten up the drain valve, mount the oil discharge hose onto the fixture and make sure that the end of holes faces upwards. 5. Take out the dipstick. 6. Add the specified amount of oil through the dipstick tube. 7. Maintain the oil level between the top of dipstick and the mark on dipstick. Inspection on level of lubricating oil for slewing driving device. 1. The dipstick for lubricating oil of turnable driving device is located on turnable device behind the movable arm base. Take out the dipstick. 2. Inspect the dipstick. Maintain the oil level between the top of dipstick and the mark on dipstick. If necessary, add the aisle through the dipstick tube. 3. 
Insert the dipstick. Lubrication of slewing bearing gear. Note: The incorrect lubrication may lead to damage of components of the machine. Too much lubricating grease may increase the agitation loss, accelerate the deterioration of lubricating grease, and get the turnable driving device damaged. Too less lubricating grease may get the gear poorly lubricated. One, remove the inspection cover near the base frame of movable arm. Inspect the lubricating grease. Two, remove the bolt, gasket, lower cover, and gasket. Three, inspect the gasket. If the gasket is obviously damaged. Please replace it. Four, inspect the level of lubricating grease. The lubricating grease should be evenly distributed on the bottom of groove. Five, inspect whether the lubricating grease is contaminated or discolored. Six, if the lubricating grease is contaminated or discolored owing to water. Please replace the lubricating grease. Remove the bolt, gasket, cover, and gasket, so as to drain the water. Seven. Lift up the movable arm and turn the upper structure for one fourth round. Eight. Repeat the step seven whenever the upper structure is turned for one fourth round. Six. Maintenance of traveling mechanism. Inspection on crawler. Inspect the crawler for wear and excessive accumulation of dirt. Measurement of tightness of crawler. One. Place a piece of straight edge on the crawler. The straight edge should be long enough to carry out measurement from crawler guiding wheel to crawler supporting wheel. Two, measure the maximum sagging of crawler. The sagging is measured from the highest point of crawler to the bottom of straight edge. If the crawler is correctly adjusted, the sagging is about forty to fifty-five millimeter. Adjustment of crawler. Warning: Under high pressure, the lubricating grease may lead to personal injury or death. Pressure relief valve. Can be screwed off for one round at most. If the crawler is not relaxed, please close the pressure relief valve and consult with the customer service department of Yutong Heavy Industry. Correction adjustment of crawler will prolong the service life of crawler and driving device component. As for thick soil layer, the crawler should be relaxed as much as possible. One, tensing of crawler. Before adding the lubricating grease, please wipe clean the lubricating nipple. One, add the lubricant through the lubricating nipple until the correct tightness is reached. Two, move the machine forwards and backwards so as to balance the pressure. Three, inspect the sagging of crawler. Adjust the crawler if necessary. Two, relaxation of crawler. One, carefully screw off the pressure relief valve until the crawler becomes relaxed. Pressure relief valve that may be screwed off for one round at most. Two, when the crawler reaches the required tightness, tighten up the pressure relief valve with a torque of thirty-four nm. Three. Move the machine forwards and backwards so as to balance the pressure. Four, inspect the sagging of a crawler. Adjust the crawler if necessary. Seven, maintenance of power unit. Replacement of lubricating oil for final drive. One. Turn the lubricating oil drain plug of final drive on one side to the bottom position. Two, remove the drain plug and oil level plug. 
Drain the lubricating oil into an appropriate container. 3. Clean up the plug and inspect the O-ring if any obvious wear or damage is found. Please replace the drain plug, oil level plug or O-ring. 4. Install the drain plug. 5. Repeat the steps 1 to 4 for the final drive on the other side. Use another container so as to distinguish the oil from two final drives. 6. Start up the engine and make the final drive run for several rounds. 7. Switch off the engine. Inspect the lubricating oil level. Inspection on level of lubricating oil for final drive. 1. Turn the lubricating oil drain plug of final drive on one side to the button. 2. Remove the lubricating oil level plug. 3. Inspect the level of lubricating oil. The level of lubricating oil should be close to the lower edge of oil level plug port. 4. If necessary, add the lubricating oil via the oil level plug port. 5. Clean up the lubricating oil level plug. Inspect the O-ring. If the O-ring is worn or damaged, please replace the O-ring. 6. Repeat the steps above for the final drive on the other side. Replacement of lubricating oil for driving device of power unit. 1. Remove the inspection cover under the power unit driving device. 2. Remove the oil discharge holes from the fixture on upper frame and make the end of holes face towards the container. 3. Use the universal joint equipped with extension sleeve to screw off the drain valve and drain the oil into an appropriate container. 4. Tighten up the drain valve, mount the oil discharge holes onto the fixture and make sure that the end of holes faces upwards. 5. Take out the dipstick. 6. Add the specified amount of oil through the dipstick tube. 7. Maintain the oil level between the top of dipstick and the mark on dipstick. Inspection on lubricating oil for driving device of power unit. Note. Make sure that the amount of lubricating grease added to the driving device of power unit is correct. If too much lubricating grease is added, the rotation loss may be increased, the deteriorated of lubricating grease may be accelerated, and then the driving device of power unit may get damaged. If too less lubricating grease is added, the gear will be poorly lubricated. 1. Remove the inspection cover near the base of power unit. Inspect the lubricating grease. 2. Remove the bolt, gasket, lower cover and gasket. 3. Inspect the gasket. If the gasket is obviously damaged, please replace the gasket. 4. Inspect the level of lubricating grease. The lubricating grease should be evenly distributed on the bottom of groove. 5. Inspect whether the lubricating grease is contaminated or discolored. If the lubricating grease is contaminated, discolored, thinned, or thickened, please immediately replace the lubricating grease. Replacement of lubricating oil for spline gear of power unit. 1. Turn the lubricating oil drain plug on spline gear of power unit on one side to position on bottom, which will make it convenient to drain the oil. 2. Remove the drain plug and oil level plug and drain the lubricating oil of spline gear of power unit into an appropriate container. 3. Clean up the plug and inspect O ring. If any obvious wear or damage is found, Please replace the drain plug, oil level plug, or O-ring. 4. 
Install the drain plug. 5. Fill the lubricating oil into the cavity of spline gear of power unit until the level of lubricating oil reaches two-third position of gear oil tank. 6. Mount the oil level plug. 7. Implement the steps 1 to 6 for the cavity of spline gear of power unit on the other side. Use another container so as to distinguish the lubricating oil from two cavities of spline gear of power unit. 8. Start up the power unit and make the spline gear of power unit run for several rounds. 9. Switch off the engine and inspect the level of lubricating oil. 8. Maintenance of retarder. 1. Use and maintenance of retarder. Please replace the oil for the first time after the machine is put into service for 100 hours. Replace the lubricating oil after every 1,500 service hours or every 12 months, whichever occurs firstly. Inspect the tightness of all screws and bolts at least once a month. Maintenance Schedule 2. Maintenance of power unit retarder. Brevening. Be sure to carry out maintenance in accordance with the above maintenance schedule. However, the working state of power unit retarder is relatively special, so that the oil must be added on a regular basis. The recommended oil is Malib Gear CHE 220 or Shell Omala Oil 220 Gear Oil. If the oil is replaced, the amount of oil to be added is about 9 liter. 3. Maintenance of Main Winch Retarder Braxeth Please carry out maintenance in accordance with the provisions above. The oil should be added on a regular basis. And the recommended oil is Malib Gear CHE 220 or Shalomala Oil 220 Gear Oil. The amount of oil to be added is about 8.5 liter. 4. Maintenance of Auxiliary Winch Retarder Please carry out maintenance in accordance with the provisions above. The oil should be added on a regular basis, and the recommended oil is Molib Gear CHE 220 or Shell Omala Oil 220 Gear Oil. The amount of oil to be added is about 4 liter. 5. Maintenance of Traveling Retarder Bonfi Clearly Please carry out the maintenance in accordance with the provisions above. The oil should be added on a regular basis. And the recommended oil is Shalom Alep 220 or Mobile Gear 630 Gear Oil. The amount of oil to be added is about 8 liter. 9. Maintenance of Drilling Pipe Notices 1. The drilling pipe and drill bit may only be used to drill the drilling hole and may not be used for any other purpose. Be sure not to immerse the drill bit into liquid concrete and start the drilling operation only when the drill bit contacts with the bottom of hole. 2. When the drilling hole is very deep, more than 35 meters, or the bore is very large, more than 1,800 mm, please ensure that the flat teeth and round teeth are in good working conditions. Replace the teeth if necessary, and be sure not to carry out drilling by increasing the force applied on drilling pipe. 3. When carrying out the drilling operation in sand bed or paddle bed, be sure not to drill too deep in one attempt. Otherwise, the bore may shrink. The drill bit can be turned or lifted up owing to non-clearance between drill bit and bore, and thus major accidents such as bead freezing may occur. 4. As for the use of car drilling pipe, please note that when lifting up the drilling pipe from drilling hole, 
Please carefully observe whether the external section of drilling pipe is properly lifted up. If the external section is lifted up from power unit too early, it means that certain section of drilling pipe is not fully unlocked. In such case, please operate in accordance with the following steps. One. Immediately stop the lifting operation of main winch, so as to prevent the drilling pipe from being opened in the course of lifting. Otherwise, the section of drilling pipe which has not been correctly unlocked may slide down. Two, lower the drilling pipe slowly to the bottom of drilling hole. Turn the drilling pipe so as to unlock it, and then take out the drilling pipe. Three. Dump the soil and then remove the drilling pipe. Four, open the drilling pipe and inspect and repair the drilling pipe thoroughly. Maintenance of drilling pipe. One, first inspection period for common formation. After fifty to one hundred service hours, inspect the fourth section of drilling pipe. After one hundred to one hundred and fifty service hours, inspect the second section and third section of drilling pipe. Two, inspection period in normal use. After every two hundred and fifty to three hundred service hours, please inspect the fourth section of drilling pipe. After every four hundred to five hundred service hours, please inspect the second section and third section of drilling pipe. Three. After the works of shift are completed, please clear away the sludge from drilling pipe. Before carrying out the maintenance, please clean up the drilling pipe thoroughly. Ten. Maintenance of drilling bucket. On the surface of drilling bucket, there is a layer of high hardness abrasive resistant material, which may effectively abate the wear of drilling bucket when carrying out the drilling operation. Please select the corresponding drilling bucket on the basis of the geologic condition. The drilling bucket falls into short spiral drill bit, sand drilling bucket, clay drilling bucket, and rock drilling bucket, and the basic structure is of the same except for short spiral drilling bucket. The general sequence for inspection on drilling bucket is detailed as follows: one. Clean up the drilling bucket. Two, inspect the drilling bucket for wear. Three, inspect the bucket teeth for wear. Four, replace the bucket teeth. If the bucket teeth are found excessively worn, please immediately replace the damaged or seriously worn bucket teeth. Otherwise, the wear of drilling bucket will be accelerated. Five, inspect whether the door of drilling bucket can be opened and closed smoothly. Six, be sure to settle the problems found and carry out repair in time. Eleven, maintenance of elevator. Since the operating environment of elevator is relatively severe. When the water in drilling hole exceeds 13 meters, the elevator will be fully immersed in water or mud, and the water or mud may enter into the lubricating nipple on the elevator. Therefore, before the working of every shift, be sure to add the lubricating oil to the elevator. Before adding oil, please inspect whether the drilling pipe elevator bearing can rotate smoothly. If the bearing is damaged, please replace it immediately. Inspect whether any bolt or pin shaft is loosened, worn, or broken from time to time. If any bolt or pin shaft is found damaged, please immediately replace it. Note: When adding the oil through the lubricating nipple on one end of the elevator, be sure to screw off the lubricating nipple on the other end. So that the previously added grease can be squeezed out, the used grease may contain water or other impurities. If the lubricating nipple on the other end is not screwed off, 
the oil seal in elevator may get damaged, so that dirty water, which contains sand, may enter into the elevator. The friction of bearing will be aggravated, and the sensitivity of elevator will be reduced. Twelve. Maintenance of wire rope. Inspection on wire rope. Once the wire rope breaks in the course of operation, the consequence thereof will be destructive for the whole drilling rig or the drilling hole. Therefore, before the working of every shift, be sure to inspect the conditions of wire rope and correct any existing error. One, observation on lubrication of wire rope. Normally, the wire rope is internally and externally lubricated in the course of manufacturing, which can not only protect the wire rope against the corrosion and dry friction of steel wires, but also lubricate the external and internal surface of wire rope in the course of movement. The original lubrication can be maintained for a relatively long while. If the wire rope is found badly lubricated, please apply lubricating oil in time. When carrying out the lubrication, please use different lubricating grease on the basis of the extent of wear. One, when the wire rope is sliding on pulley or rolling on roller, as a E30W lubricating grease is used to penetrate the crack on wire rope, so as to effectively lubricate the wire rope. Two, when the wire rope is seriously worn. Please use the grease with relatively high viscosity, such as the high viscosity oil or the grease which contains graphite, which contains molybdenum disulfite, to lubricate the wire rope so as to reduce the mechanical wear. Three, when the wire rope contacts with any bulky abrasive material, soil or sand, the lubricating oil grease. An external surface of wire rope may absorb such material, and thus the wire rope and pulley will get seriously worn. In such case, please clean up and lubricate the surface of wire rope in time. Lubricating method for wire rope. One, carry out the continuous bathing for the wire rope, which means to slide the wire rope through the container which contains the lubricating oil. And use a piece of cloth to wipe away the excessive oil on wire rope. Two, use a piece of cloth or brush to apply oil or grease onto the wire rope. Three, use a spray gun to spray oil onto the wire rope so as to lubricate it. Two, observation on fatigue of wire rope. The wire rope will fatigue slowly after being used for a long time. Slowly, the aging process of wire rope may be simply expressed as follows: wear, bend, corrosion, and dragging, fatigue, plastic deformation, breakage of steel wire, breakage of wire rope. For the purpose of inspecting fatigue, just observe the breakage of steel wires in wire rope. And the bending and deformation of wire rope. The measures to be taken for wire rope are detailed as follows. One, if some strands of steel wire on the outside of wire rope are found broken, please replace the wire rope in time. Otherwise, danger may occur. Two, if the wire rope is found deformed, which means that several strands of steel wire in the wire rope. Protrude obviously from inner layer, it may break the course of lifting of heavy articles. If the above mentioned phenomenon occurs at several locations, please immediately replace the wire rope. Three, if the wire rope is found tightly rested, or if there are many burrs on steel wires on the external layer, or if any portion of the wire rope is thinned, please immediately replace the wire rope. Replacement of wire rope. Steps for removal of wire rope from main winch. One, remove the wire rope from the end of elevator. 
Two, operate the main winch so as to lower the Y rope, and arrange for the assistants to pull out the Y rope. Three, after the Y rope is pulled out and there is only one round of Y rope left, remove the limit block for Y rope of main winch and remove the Y rope. Four, safely loosen the new Y rope, and make sure that it is as long as the old one. Five, install the Y rope on the end of roller, and fix the limit block. Six, operate the main winch to recoil the Y rope. Carefully inspect whether the Y rope is coiled on the roller orderly. Make sure that the Y rope is tightly coiled. Seven, install the elevator on the end of Y rope base. Thirteen. Before filling and lubricating grease in course of maintaining the slowing bearing of the accompanying device, first wipe clean the oil cup. Inject a number two lithium lubricating grease with grease gun into the inside of the slowing bearing from each oil cup on the slowing bearing, respectively. In course of injecting grease. It is necessary to turn back and forth and inject from each oil cup, respectively, till grease overflows from the sealing position. An excess table of tightening torque for bolts. Table of quality of fluid and oil. Note: Before using the biodegradable hydraulic oil. Please consult with the customer service department of Yutong Heavy Industry. It is likely that your machine is not compatible with biodegradable hydraulic oil. Brief table for maintenance. Thank you for purchasing and using the product of Yutong Heavy Industry. Owing to the continuous updating and upgrading of the products of this company, the relevant contents of this instruction may be modified, and the users are kindly requested to make reasonable adjustments in light of the products purchased. If you have any problem, please contact with the after-sale service department of this company in time. Telephone: four double o six nine six five six double six.